you graduated, it's time to put you to work. <laughs> Me and Pastor Vito are going to take a few Sundays off. Amen. We might go for a round of golf or fishing, whatever. <laughs> Just kidding. But, it, you know, when he graduated and I watched the graduation, when I finally got time to open it and watch it in, in, in entirety, uh, when he came up to give that speech, I know he was the top of his class, and I was teary-eyed because I said, Lord, thank you, because it's only you that an uh, Oceanside boy <laughs> go to, you can might as well consider, that's not his hometown, say yeah. that. Yeah. This is his hometown. Right, right. He wasn't well schooled in the Psalm 1. <laughs> But when I heard him speak, when he gave his psalm more portion of his speech, I was to say, Lord, there's hope for me. <laughs> you know, so I'm uh, told him this morning, like, you know, I'm leaning on you. And it's fitting what Pastor Vito say, our wow. Amen. Because when you graduate from there, you uh, graduate as our wow. They don't just, they don't bestow it on you until you get to your church and then we bestow it on you. I already told them. I know I, this is supposed to be passed to our board. Our board, I'm telling you right now, this is going to be one of our hours. I told AJ, Paulo Kofi Bayasola, Auli Fayo to Mam Lotina, Bayatua, Paulo Tofi, Macau Mashequa. I'm just kidding. Right? But I am so excited. And I'm talking to AJ. He has a heart for the ministry. Amen. He has a heart for the work of the Lord. Amen. And that's what God is looking for. Amen. Not only people or young people that want to abide in Jesus, but also young people that say, I'm going to sacrifice what I want Amen. so that I can abide in what you want me to do. Amen. So there's nothing more exciting and fulfilling been doing the work of the Lord. So I asked him, he called last uh, Sunday when he got in and say, and uh, I saw it was Minty's uh, number and I said, AJ, you're preaching on Sunday. <laughs> and he didn't say, well, Pastor, can I say anything? Oh, he said, yes, Pastor, I'll do it. So thank you to Atalia uh, AJ. And uh, we're going to give him this opportunity to come and share what God has been doing in his life. A testimony and also bring God's uh, message for you and I this morning. Amen? Amen. Can we get a, a round of applause for our speaker this morning? Tato 
Ao whenai ai au, mau aonga, tonu the SBC, e Amerika Samoa. I just want to say an official thank you to our church for all your support from my time at school. You know, going to college is not easy no matter where you go, but I thank God that I'm here. And I thank you, church, for all your prayers and your encouragements and your endless support throughout the three years. I pray that God continue to bless you individually, your families, but God continue to bless us together as a church. Amen? Amen. It's funny, today marks a, a week since I've arrived. <laughs> I literally la arrived last Sunday. And it's uh, funny because I arrived Sunday night. I went to sleep, and by Monday morning, I was in the car on my way to the Bacana, <laughs> out in Garden Grove. Um, and you should have seen the looks of my parents. It was confusion. It was um, kind of scared or, you know, what's going on. If looks can tell, they pretty much were saying, boy, you just got here, and now you want to get up and go again. Um, but to clarify why I went, it was for three reasons. Number one is to be around family, just to be around the boys and to be around church family. Always want to you know, surround yourself with good people. Number two, to hear God's word, just to hear what God has to speak to me personally. Uh, from all the great messages from our pastors out there in uh, LA. But also number three, one of the main reasons why I went was because the Hilton. <laughs> yes, we would pass up a week at the Hilton, <laughs> amen? And my parents, it's funny because my parents were asking days prior, weeks prior, you know, hey, are you going to the Mafgala? And I pretty much said, ah, you know, we'll see. And ladies, just advice, if you ever hear a man say, we'll see when you ask him to go somewhere, that's a 99% chance it's a no. <laughs> so say, so, heads up, ladies. So, and she, my, my mom asked me again, you know, she, you should go because there's a lot of preachers and you never know who you can see. You might see some friends or maybe some, you know, some old youth friends that you've seen or you haven't seen in a while. And I said, you know, ah, uh, well, we'll see. But then my mom said, hey, you should go because the boys have their own room at the Hilton. I said, oh, sign me up. Let's go. How much is registration? But uh, let me tell you, church, the past, for the past three years of tossing and turning, the past three years of unrest, I probably had the best sleep I've had in a, in a long time this past week. But I had a fun time. I had a great time out there. It was not just the boys, but our church family, just to see some of you out there. And... Not only was it fun, but it was a blessing, a blessing to be out there and to hear God's word throughout the week uh, on, the, on the theme, Abide in Him. And it's funny because when Pastor told me that I was going to be preaching this morning, I prepared a message on Monday, and by Tuesday morning, God already told me, you know what, scratch that, we're going to stay in the theme of Abide in Him. Amen. And so this morning, um, we're going to stay in that theme abide in me and our text is John 15 verses 4 if we can pull that up on the screen please and if you're wondering you know you're probably wondering the same thing as me uh, how can I speak on something that's been spoke on for you know the past week a whole bunch of pastors have already spoke on this um, this theme but God reminded me that God speaks differently yes. through his word to each individual so five people can have the same verse you read the same verse, you study the same verse, but get completely five different messages. And so this morning, this is what just God has put onto my heart to speak on this morning. If we can all read uh, John 15, verse 4. <laughs> It says, abide in me and I in you. Understand that Jesus is talking to his disciples and he's telling them to stay or remain in him to be fruitful. But not only that, we have to look at who he's talking to. If you go back a uh, chapter back and you read until you get to this verse, you notice one thing, he's talking to his disciples. Jesus is talking to people that he has a relationship with. He isn't preaching to the mass crowds. He isn't teaching at the temple. These aren't random people. These are friends. These are men that over a time, 
he has created a relationship with. And so this morning, we're talking about a relationship. God has put in my heart to talk about a relationship, not just a relationship with God, but an abiding relationship with God. So that is our message for this morning, an abiding relationship with God. Uh, if you look up the meaning of abiding, it means long-lasting. It means enduring. So in other words, our message for today is a long-lasting relationship with God or an enduring relationship with God. I'm not talking about only when you feel like it, the relationship with God. I'm talking about an abiding relationship with God. I'm not talking about only on a Sunday relationship with God. I'm talking about an abiding relationship with God. I'm not talking about only when you need him, you give him a call type of relationship with God. I'm talking about a relationship with God that is long lasting and enduring. Amen? Amen. I'm, talking, I'm talking about an abiding relationship with God when you remain in him and Jesus remains in you. And so when God gave me this message, I asked God two questions last week. I said, all right, God, what does an abiding relationship with you look like? And there I'm sitting at the women's service Tuesday morning, and it flashes up on the screen. We can get that picture of the tree. This is the picture of our theme, Abide in Him. And so when I saw this tree, I asked God another question. I said, what does an abiding relationship have? And so like every tree, there's three parts. And say it with me, number one, the roots. Number two, and number three, and so like every tree has three main parts, an abiding relationship also has three main parts. So what does an abiding relationship with God have? Number one, it has roots, strong roots. The deeper the roots, the higher the tree. The deeper the roots, the stronger the tree. See, the roots of the tree is the foundation of your relationship with God. Amen. You ask any construction builder, when you build a building, you need a what? You need a strong foundation. Church, an abiding relationship with God has and will always need a strong foundation. Amen. Foundations are never fancy. They're never flash. They are just basic simple yet strong so how how do we build a foundation how do we start how do we have this abiding relationship with God well like pastor said the work has already been done by Jesus who died on the cross and sacrificed his life for each and every one of us that foundation has already been laid but a coach football coach by the name of Lou Holtz once said build your empire on the firm foundation of the fundamentals. So just like the fundamentals we have for sports, there's fundamentals for our spiritual relationship. Amen. Church, what fundamentals are we talking about? We're talking about number one, prayer. Talking to God. Number two, reading the word, listening to God. Question, when is the last time you prayed to God? Did you pray this morning to declare your day to God or did you wait until you got here? to say the prayer with Pastor, Pastor Vico. <laughs> when is the last time you listened to God? When is the last time you read the word of God? Amen? Amen? An abiding relationship with God requires you to talk and to listen to God. Amen. So when do, you, when do you listen to God? Is it is it only when you scroll down Facebook? Is it when you listen to God and you find your favorite memory verse? Or, yeah, is it, is it the only time you feel good is when you talk to God? Or what about the hard times? Amen? I want us to look at the verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 10. And this is a big, this is a big verse here, because it tells us why it is important to have a solid foundation. If we can read it, I lay the foundation as a wise builder and someone else is building on it. The 
foundation you lay today, church, is the foundation that your next generation will build on tomorrow. Yeah. Amen. Auntie Teresa, when you keep praying, you keep reading the word, it lays a foundation for your kids. Amen. It's five, same thing. When you keep praying, when you keep reading, when you keep reading the word, when you stay on the fundamentals, you're building a foundation for your boys and your girls to grow up spiritually with God. Amen? Amen. Church, when you focus on just doing the fundamentals, when you just focus on those little things, by praying and reading God's word, you are strengthening not only your relationship with God, but you are strengthening your next generation, your future generation. Amen? Amen. An abiding relationship, number one, has a strong foundation. Number two, an abiding relationship with God has a trunk. And before I lose you, let me explain. Any tree you start, any tree that you see starts small and grows over time. It doesn't just start as a trunk. It starts as a seed, then sprouts, then stem, and then eventually over time it grows to be what is a trunk. And so that is what we call a process. Everyone say process. Process. An abiding relationship with God, you have to understand, church, it's a complete process. A process we all go through, some similar, some different, a process purposed by God to test your relationship with him. And it's just like a tree. In the process of, process of growing spiritually, there will be winds, there will be storms, there will be people who are trying to cut you down. But understand that, and we were reminded in Matthew 10, verse 22, it pretty much says that a relationship with God is accepting the fact that you are willing to suffer along with Jesus. So understand that abiding relationship with God isn't always happy days. It's a process. There will come a time when you'll be tested. And so while you are in the process, remember these two things, and these are important. Number one, you got to persevere through the process. While you are in the storms of life, or the winds that are pushing you, or people are trying to get at you, you have to just keep on pushing, keep on going. Romans 5 verse 3 reminds us that when you persevere, it creates character, and when you have character, you're able to have hope. <laughs> Number two, trust the process. I'm not talking about trust the 76ers process, I'm talking about <laughs> trusting God's process. Trust where God has planted you in your life at this time. Trust where the process has, trust the process that God has specifically placed for you. There are no accidents to God. Wherever you are in life, he has you there for a reason. No matter what season you are in at this time, God will see you through. Amen? Amen. When we learn to preserve or persevere and trust God's process for each of us, then we begin to grow spiritually. An abiding relationship with God, number two, is a process. Number three, an abiding relationship with God has a crown. And don't worry, the crown is just a fancy name for the branches and leaves of the tree. But in spiritual terms, we call this the harvest. Without a harvest, without the branches and leaves of a tree, then pretty much we would declare that tree dead. So we can look at the crown of any tree, we can look at the branches and the trees or the leaves of any tree and tell that if that tree is flourishing and alive, or if it's weak and struggling. The end result of building a strong foundation, the end result of trusting the process and persevering through is the harvest. An abiding relationship with God has a harvest. An abiding relationship with God is prosperous and flourishing. So what is the harvest? The harvest is the healing. Harvest is when God blesses you. Harvest is when God gives you success. And blesses your family. Harvest can be your happiness, your joy when you go to work. Harvest can be the peace of mind. And so all those things are for you, but this morning God has put into my heart that the most important thing about the harvest is that it identifies you with God. Yeah. If we can bring that last picture up, please. And so this is a picture of an abiding relationship with God. Notice how everything around it seems dead, yet the tree remains. And we can say that that tree is flourishing and alive.
Why? Because of the harvest, because of the leaves and the branches on top. And so, church, if we are having an abiding relationship with God, this is us in the world. In the world that seems dead, in the world that is spiritually in need, we are that source of life. But we can't be that source of life if we are not connected to the ultimate source of life, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So stay connected to the source of life. Stay connected to Jesus. Even in our workplace, this sometimes looks like our workplace work. People don't believe. People don't want to believe. Yet you remain in the middle. And you have to remain strong. Why? Because don't forget the harvest that God has blessed you with. That harvest in the midst of everything that seems dead around you will attract people to God. The harvest is not just for you. Let's not get selfish here, church. The harvest is not for you. It's for others to know who God truly is. Amen? Amen. An abiding relationship with God, number one, has a strong foundation. If you're not rooted in the Word, if you're not rooted in your time and praying with God, then what are you rooted in? you got to check your foundation, church. Number two, understanding the process. Understand you're not the only one. We're all going through the same thing. But I encourage you this morning. God is saying just keep pushing through, persevere, and trust him in all that he does. Amen. Last but not least, the harvest. Yes, the harvest is for you. But most importantly, God is saying this morning, the harvest is for you to show others and identify who God truly is. May God bless you this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 But remain in Jesus. Let Jesus be your foundation. Let Jesus finish his process. And let the harvest of God appear in our lives as we continue to serve. Can you say amen? We're going to sing a song. And I'm just going to let you close your eyes 
and think about God. And if you're here, you need prayer for whatever you're going through. It's a process, and God wants to help you through that. Amen. So we're going to sing a song. It won't be long in our altar call this morning. And then we'll pray. With all head bowed, just pray to God. Speak to your heart this morning. There's so Lord, you're healing upon them. Maybe there's some that are watching through Facebook this morning. We agree together with them also for healing for them. Physically, Lord God, let your healing flow in this place, on the internet, wherever they may be. Father, remember those that have needs that they present to you this morning. Father, 
Pai mai ma ta paulia tua. Pai mai me pega ta. Lord, yes, yes, we need ta. In the name of Jesus. We declare your word upon our lives. Minister to that need. Mentally, Lord God, whoever struggling. Maybe with a bout of depression this morning. In the name of Jesus, we ask, touch them, Lord. Release them, free them. Whoever's struggling financially, Lord, you know, Father, we pray your hand upon them. Whatever else need that is here, Father, we pray that you would intervene on our behalf. And Father, I pray for the word that was sold today. Let us continue to abide in you. Let us continue to take foundation, to take root in you. Let us trust the process that you've got us going through. Let us persevere. And Lord, let us see the harvest, the crown that you bring in, Lord God. Bless your servant this morning. AJ this morning. Continue to anoint him. Anoint him and continue to prepare him, Lord God, for the call that you have bestowed upon this young man. And let him be an example for our young people and others, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you the praise and the glory. And we thank you, Jesus. Precious name we pray. And all the saints say, Amen. 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 Would you be seated for our announcements real quick? Um, have to write these down. So this week is our rest week, except for Saturday. So rest week means rest during Monday through Friday. The prayer meeting on Saturday. You say Amen. Amen. I think the preacher touched on that. One of the uh, things for us to do is to pray. Amen. So come pray uh, with us on um, Saturday. If you're not able, we still live stream our stuff. I was thinking that we would uh, not do live streaming no more to see if we had more people come. But we're going to, if you're, is it still on? If you're watching, if you like live streaming, would you give us a thumbs up and say, please don't stop live streaming, and then we'll we'll, we'll pray about that. Amen. But anyways, we'll, we'll continue to live stream, you know, for the sake of those that are far away. But if you are a member here, and you just woke up late and you just decided to live stream, uh, sasa. Amen. <laughs> So uh, Saturday is our prayer meeting, rest week today. I was thinking that next Sunday is July 4th. And if it's okay with our Sunday school, if we not have Sunday school, uh, Pastor, please say. Okay, so we'll give you a break. So church will start at 10, because it is the 4th of July. And uh, I know some families go to watch the fireworks. We'll start at 10, we will not have, and it's our communion too, so we won't have Sunday school next week. Uh, just our church will start at 10, so we can finish it and we can say amen. And also, the meeting, I know you saw the meeting for, uh, the, for our Pulena was on the 3rd. Well, that's canceled. The meeting for the Pulena is canceled. The meeting for the Pulena now is on July 10th. Amen? Amen. All right. We need two suis. We need all the pastors and their five to us to go. If you don't know, our uh, Toyina has been promoted to executive presbyter, so they have to find a new presbyter for our uh, Linda. So please come. We need everybody to attend. Um, I think that's about all. Oh, women. One more thing, women, you have a meeting after prayer meeting, right? So women, your leader said uh, tell you guys that you guys have a meeting. Okay.
Okay, so we're gonna, we're not gonna have prayer meeting because we have something in, uh, on Saturday. It, we'll let uh, uh, Brother announce that. So, yeah, Tato Mano Lo, Tato prayer meeting in Bayaso on the 4th of July weekend. So we'll cancel our prayer meeting on Saturday, okay? So, and women, please, Amen. Uh, I'll talk to your leader and uh, to us here. So she will tell. Okay. Amen. Other than that, Uma, any other announcements? <coughs> so they need a moment. <laughs> a moment is uh, short. <laughs> and after that, then we'll, uh, uh, Brother Mitzi also needs a moment. So after Vito's moment, then please wait until Brother Mitzi has his moment also. Amen. God bless you. And go with God.
Okamana ki nga ma kukua na ufara nga ufara ya nganga Kwa hiyo ya ufara ya nganga ya maripa manu ni kare siya Lea kuwaisa ma kukala Lama upu kwa ili kusipa iya Akwai ma kukia ka ukala ili alofa Aireisu nga faki ngomu Mbukai Pa malokoa Malosha ili ya kuwa malo mfinyaka Lea nga mba ya kuya Kwa hiyo ya kare siya uunga ase faa solo E kawai ya, pai kawai ya Ulanga uo, ya ina uduwa ya kusepua ima nga venga le tuwa Pa luwa sa maku kwa mkalanga Ya lea kwa sao hiya ya ina uduwa ya kare siya Ya yukusi, ya mboli ya kwa hiyo maku wa lopa anga Saya mereka kumbangkan lagi, saya masih faham orang itu mengajar dan mengajar. Kumpul mereka mengajar. Ia mereka pun malu semua. Ya, oleh apa itu? Tapi kali kali siapa mereka kumpul malu setinggal siapa? Jadi dua orang ini bau biar terus dua kali si biar naya kumpul pea. Ia yang faham faham apa yang mau gua matu apa yang nak? Ia pernah matu kalah. Ya Pak, mereka ini lama dia tua, dia mau sel kuat. Mau buat pelan. Kau faham tak dia tua? Mau buat sel kuat. Ya, wala nga gue nga dia tua. Mereka sel kuat tu buat kan. Mereka ngeri ya, sebab tak. Ya, ya, ya. Tunggu yang tua tu, kita maaf ada nga. Ya, lau ikan esia. Dan tu, lu wajah ni tsk meo wajah upaya. Mereka ngeri ya, sebab tak. Mereka ngeri ya, sebab tak. Lisa, ele é o aí se me dá só é mais ou menos tudo lá na parte de mim. Mas logo mais o lado lá vai estar por trás do aí até o chão o mal lado por trás mais tá o lado ele tá para lá o mal. Ele lá vai foi de um ano aí está aí o aí e o povo fala lá o lado está tudo tudo lá o lado está tudo lá e o mal é o mal o sim. Fai ai o povo está tudo a descer. O povo está tudo a descer. Vai ter algo lindo, grace, mas para o fai galo mesmo. Para tai, para tai o outro fai me assiste mo na tua. Ele é lá para ser mentais e só te fai a. Ele, ele vai ai ai na tua. God sees everything, and you have blessed us so much during the ordination service. Time. Oto walen tu muai. Oto walen papi saat fali. Kau mita fua lama. Ona le support a oto la weka le siya. Etele yo ma one ya nanga. Wala awa le tua. It's amazing. It's awesome. And you don't know where it takes you. I I I muli muli la na balau. It manuia me fa ye le tua ye ola na tenata. Ule ofa manuia ile tuwa ya ima uwe seekale siya Manuia seekale siya la lofa mitangata Oli oli ile tuwa, fiafia ile tuwa Ma lo lofa poi Ile aise manuia ya ima uwa Ale matatalo Ia manuia tamama tina matatua Ma henga ese eso leekale siya Ile o la vela uta lho Ia moa ume tato manuia May your umini and tato waso, tato tell all night there, fatasi, let two of them of the alma and a ruenga. That's it, but now I'll find a ruenga, but tight. And let's all tell you, I will love our tongue. We don't have a big offering of Rena, singer Tia Kono, and let's all tell you for your tongue, we want two of them is your tongue. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Lo moe a te o tole a nganga a ka lepo. E le o le tau sanga e mai le a pai nga ta. E pai a. Le le a ma le a nganga pa mau lau. O te a te tai o tua. Pa te tai te le la me to. A lo pa tu la aima to sa pa sa pai a o Ooh, and it's a matter of 